Terrifying, and it can happen in an instant. A child suffocates after getting tangled in window blind cords. And now tonight, there's actually a new call for mandatory safety standards to eliminate that danger. Dr. Malcolm Marshall has the story that every parent needs to see. <laughs> like her namesake, four year old Presley Marie Eastburn loved to sing. It's raining, it's pouring. I miss her holding my face and looking into my eyes, telling me, you know, how much she loved me. A year ago, Presley was in the family room watching TV alone for about 10 minutes when her parents say she made her way to the window and became entangled in the cord attached to the blinds. All the life had been sucked out of her. Presley had been strangled. She died five days later. Now, doctors in the journal Pediatrics are calling for immediate action, saying in a report that window blinds were involved in more than 16,000 injuries and 271 deaths among children over a 25-year period. Dr. Gary Smith co-authored the study. It's just completely unacceptable that we continue to see children die from this cause when we've known about this problem for over 70 years. You can pull this cord right here. This video from an advocacy group shows how easily they can become entangled. Manufacturers say they're addressing the problem. In a statement, their trade group says a voluntary process with the Consumer Product Safety Commission will result next year in, quote, the most significant change to the window covering safety standard ever, with the requirement that all blinds sold in retail stores or online be cordless or have inaccessible cords, a change they say could cover more than 80% of products sold. Last year alone, children who died included a two-year-old from Florida, a three-year-old from Ohio, a three-year-old from Texas, and Presley, the little girl who used to sing along with mom to a favorite story. She would sing it as long as I'm living, my mommy he'll be. Now, the Eastburns say the blinds they were sold had child safety features they claim did not work properly. They're suing both the manufacturer and retailer of their blinds. The retailer's attorney told us they did not install the blinds, and the manufacturer did not respond to CBS's request for comment. The study found blinds with cords kill a child a month on average. All right, this story just destroys me. Um, I know that I have blinds at home that have cords on them. What do I do? Do I rip them out of the windows? I got to buy all new ones. It sounds like they're going to stop making them, which is great. Which is great, but what do you do in the meantime? Yeah. And obviously, it's going to be really expensive to replace your blinds. Which is why that, a lot of people may not. I know, but that ideally is what you want to do. Okay. There are sort of features that you can buy to try to make them safer for kids, but in this case, they say they failed. Um, so really important to try to find blinds that don't have cords or have those inaccessible cords. In the meantime, try to remove all furniture away from the blinds. So get cribs and beds and couches away from those cords so at least they're not getting entangled at a height. All right. Great information, doctor. Thank you so much.